color is just it's perfect. I'm finally coming into my own personal style. Hopefully go on like a little decor tray that I'm planning to do. There are no rules. So I did pick up nightstands from Hearth and Hand. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than Pottery Barn. Those were like $500 a curtain. Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. My name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop me videos, home decor and home decorating videos. I love shopping at all my favorite stores like Target, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Kirkland's, World Market, Joann's, Michael's. Any store that you can think of that sells home decor or home furniture, I have probably done a couple videos there. So if you haven't yet, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up before we get started. Hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos and you can also hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every single time I post a new video. If you are new here, then you would not know that we just moved into a brand new house and I'm on the long journey of furnishing and decorating it and I'm chronicling the whole thing on my channel. So if that is something that you love, if you love transformation videos, you're definitely gonna I love it here so make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my little corner of the internet today's video is part two of my shopping spree videos so yesterday I posted a shopping spree home decor type journey where I went to like Target home goods Marshall's I went to Pottery Barn I went to a couple home goods actually just seeking out items to get for our guest bedroom and today I'm gonna be hauling all of them so all the items that I have picked up in the last day or so and some online items for our guest bedroom transformation that is coming up in just a few days. It is going to be such a transformation. It's starting to come together, and now that I have these final pieces, I can't wait to get it all put together, get it edited, and put that up for you. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But like I was saying, today is the second part of that shopping spree video, and I'm gonna be hauling all of the items that I purchased. Without further ado, I have a lot of stuff, and I just wanna get into it, because I'm so excited to share with you everything that I purchased. So we're gonna start with home goods, and I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. My credit card is literally like, it's uh, it's hurting right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Anyways, let's get into the haul. So like I said, we are gonna start with home goods, and I have the biggest item next to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that first. The first thing I picked up was this big brown basket. This color is perfect for some of the other furniture in the room. It's a lot darker and way different than anything else I've ever done before. So I feel like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a lot with this room and I'm just loving the turnout. I really do feel like I'm finally coming into my own personal style and it's just been such a journey because my style has changed a lot and I've never felt like completely satisfied with rooms that I've decorated. But the last few spaces I've done and especially now since we moved into here, I have been so happy. I'm just trusting my gut more and not trying to just shop the trends. I feel like I was shopping the trends and all of a sudden my house looked like everybody else's house, which is okay, but it's not necessarily what I want. So I'm really excited about the direction that my decor is going. So the first item I picked up is that basket. Not gonna tell you exactly what I'm using it for yet, but it's gonna look so cute and that basket is from home goods and then i also wanted to mention that the basket was 24.99 it's a really good size the color is just it's perfect next i did pick up two coffee table books. I'm obsessed with buying books from Home Goods. I'm on the hunt for the Architectural Digest at 100 book because I saw it on the Home Goods website for $50, which was like $70 less than another website I was looking at it on. So I'm trying to find that there. I didn't find that, but I did find two other books that I'm really excited about. So the first one is Monochrome Home. This book is so pretty i feel like my style is heavily reflected in the two books that i picked up so i'm so excited i was able to find them i just love having these books around i feel like it's fun for people to be able to kind of like flip through them or even me if i feel like i'm in like a design rut it's so nice to just be able to get inspiration from these books and not like on instagram or pinterest because i feel like that's how i fell into decorating with the trends was by like going on pinterest i'm like well everybody has that but that doesn't mean that that's what i want or that i what i have to have even though I do love all of that stuff. I do feel like, you know, I love a lot of those trends, but I was buying items that I saw repeatedly over and over again, thinking that they were what I wanted, but it was actually just like drilled into me and conditioned, I think. I don't know. That's like a whole other conspiracy theory for another day, but I just love gaining inspiration from books and other sources other than the internet because I feel like there's more original ideas in here. So I I'm obsessed with this book. This was $24.99 and I just feel like it'll be really nice to either put in the guest bedroom or use somewhere else in our house and I'll probably end up using some other books. I don't know, I have lots of books so I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna end up putting in there but I did buy this to add into the rotation and it definitely may end up in the guest bedroom. The next book I picked up really made me feel seen. I feel like I never knew a name for my style before 
But this gave me a lot of clarity. This book is called Scandi Rustic. So this book is all like Scandinavian style but with dark accents and I feel like that to a T like describes my style. I just kind of want to like show you a couple pages out of this book. Like even like my background behind me, there's more like cool tones and everything um, with dark accents and like here's kind of what that style looks like. I am just obsessed. It says creating a cozy and happy home. So Scandi Rustic, that might be my style. I've been calling it Transitional Katie because I literally had no idea what to call it, but maybe, maybe this is what it's actually called. Maybe this is the proper technical term. I don't know. But this book was $19.99 at Home Goods. I love the color of it too. It's like a beautiful ivory color. And then this one also has like those similar ivory tones. So these look really great together. Um, but a lot of the books I have, I feel like can be used interchangeably. And yeah, I'm super excited about these new books that I found, but I'm definitely Definitely still on the hunt for that other book that was in my luxury wish list. If you missed that video, I did a video of my luxury home decor and furniture wish list, like items that, like, if I hit the lottery, I would love to buy them. Um, and that was a really fun video, and you guys seem to love it. But if you missed it, I'll have it linked down below. Next up from Home Goods, I did pick up this vase. So this vase, like, I kind of have to like hold it down here, but it has that feeling I don't like. So if I'm like kind of tense, that's why. I just loved the texture on here had like a really really pretty texture to it but it does have that like dry terracotta y feeling um so i have to be really careful that like my nail doesn't scrape it or any of my rings because then i'm like Ooh, it sends me chills up and down my whole spine but i love this vase i'm not sure if i'm gonna put like a faux plant or a real plant or leave it kind of like decorative and kind of empty not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with it yet but i love the color and the texture of it the feeling though that could use a little bit of work. This was super affordable from Home Goods. This was $7.99, and I wish that they had like another shape of it um, because I just am obsessed with the color. But yeah, super excited about this $7.99 from Home Goods. This was a checkout aisle find that I swear they hide like the cutest stuff in the checkout aisle at Home Goods. I always say, like, even if you're shopping around and you don't find something you like, if there's not a line, kind of like walk through the checkout line and peruse because they keep so many cute home accents over there. If you collect Ray Dunn, that's a really, really good place to like find. Ray Dunn items, people don't always think to check there, so check the checkout aisle next time you go to like Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx, because that's where all the hidden gems are. Sticking with Home Goods, we're gonna move into stuff that I bought for the guest bathroom. I've been so focused on the bedroom that I was like, oh my god, we have to decorate that guest bathroom too. We actually have Brian's mom coming for Easter, which was good because it kind of like pushed us to get the room done a lot faster. We might have like, you know, lollygagged and taken a little bit longer. So we're really glad that we're gonna be getting this room done and that she's gonna be joining us for Easter. But I wanna show you the items that I picked up for the bathroom. I got like a new shower curtain and everything that I'm really excited about, even though I said I was gonna use one that I already had. It's fine. So like I said, we did pick up a new shower curtain. I wanted to use one of the ones I had and I still might. I still might use one of the ones that we already had, but I saw this one at Home Goods. I wasn't even looking. I was actually looking for a shower curtain rod, but I found this one and I'm like, "Oh, it's so pretty and perfect." So I decided to pick it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I probably will. But we'll see. But this is what it looks like. It's just this like beautiful like charcoal floral pattern, but it has ivory and then some like beautiful whites inside of the leaves. I just love the look of it. It may end up being like a little bit too busy, but you will see with some of the other items that I picked up that I decided to stay like super plain and neutral so that this could kind of be the star of the show. So I think I'll probably end up using it, but Maybe not. I might use one of the ones I already had, but if not, I got this one at Home Goods. It was $16.99. They have beautiful shower curtains. So if you haven't ever checked out their bathroom aisles, you should. They have so many different styles of like soap pumps, bathroom curtains, shower curtain liners. That's a really good place to buy those, but I found this there and I'm really excited about it. The next items are pretty plain, but still important. I did pick up a couple sets of towels. So these are hand towels. Luckily, there's already hand towel holders in the bathroom that are like adhered to the wall. That's one amazing thing about this house is that a lot of those like small details are already there eventually we would love to change them out to like black and kind of change out that stuff in that bathroom to black hardware but for now it's like a brushed nickel I think and we love it so we're gonna keep that but I got this to go in there like I said I didn't want to get other stuff that's too busy we have white bath mats I wanted to get white hand towels and then there is a towel rod like a bigger towel rod so I picked up a white towel for that as well um, so I just wanted to keep everything in there super like bright and neutral that way Hopefully that shower curtain can just be the star of the show. But they had this two pack for $10 and they have this nice like waffling type 
texture on the bottom. I'm not sure if my camera is going to be able to pick that up, but I love that these are made in Turkey and then I got a towel that looks super similar. So I think these will look super nice. I'm excited to get that bathroom all put together. I have some accents that were, we were using in our last place and then I did pick up a couple of like new little sink accents and I think it's going to look really, really cute. One of the accents I picked up for the bathroom sink was this mirror. So this mirror has like this black tray at the bottom, which is nice because people can put their jewelry and then it has this like gold. I just loved the look of the black and gold. It's so weird because it's like obviously a mirror So like hey <laughs> um, But I just loved the gold. I loved the color of the gold. I do wish that one side was like magnified It's not so that's okay though But it's nice that this has the jewelry here um, or whatever people want to put there and I just loved the colors of it So I did pick up this this was $24.99 at home goods and I loved it I just found it over in the bathroom section. They did have a ton of other awesome options They had ones that had like wood bases They had all black ones all gold ones all different colors that you can find there So like I said before definitely check out the bathroom section because it's huge at home goods I feel like a lot of people don't look at it because it's like tucked away in the back corner, but they have really nice stuff any style you could possibly Possibly imagine any color so if you're looking for new bathroom stuff definitely check it out the next accent I picked up for the bathroom was this scent diffuser it's one of those reed diffusers I like this one because it has a really simple jar it just has like black writing on it the scent is juniper it's like an aromatherapy one it's just nice to have these in the bathroom I feel like they look super nice with like the little like reed sticks coming out and then of course in a bathroom you just want to have lots of things that smell very nice to keep the room nice and fresh so I picked up this to hopefully go on like a little decor tray that I'm planning to do in there this was $4.99. They have so many different scents, so many different styles and bottles. They had some that had like flowers in them that were really pretty. Again, this was another checkout purchase. I literally was made for those like impulse purchase sections, like the checkout line. That was literally made for me. They get me every time and now I'm directing you to go there because I swear that's where they keep all the good stuff but I picked this up $4.99 and I think it's gonna look really cute and it smells really really good like I can smell it from here it's pretty strong but it smells good so that is everything I picked up at home goods next I'm gonna go into Marshall's I only picked up one item and it keeps in the theme with the bathroom so we're just gonna kind of keep the bathroom theme going so like I said at home goods I was looking for a shower curtain rod which I didn't find but I did walk over to Marshall's and find this nice chrome one I wanted to get a rounded one but we just wanted to get a tension rod we didn't want to like drill it into the wall I think eventually we'll want to but I was able to find this one for just 10 bucks which seems like a super good deal it's the same exact like brush nickel finish as everything else in the bathroom if um, I actually like went to an old picture and looked at the shower curtain hooks that I have if they were black I would have gotten a black rod, but they were this brush nickel So I just decided to just keep it with that so that they match So I picked up this for 10 bucks from Marshall's which I thought was a really good deal And as you probably noticed we are mixing metals in the bathroom So the brush nickel is already there eventually we would like to change it But it's like not really on our radars right now It's not a super big priority, but definitely down the line. We would love to change it so yeah, we're mixing metals in the bathroom. There's no rules when it comes to design. You can mix metals if you want to. It's nice to kind of break up like all the chrome with some black or to if you're doing a lot of like black to mix in some gold. Like you can mix as many metals as you want. There are no rules. So that was the only thing I picked up at Marshall's. Next is Target. So I have some items in my lap and then I also ordered some items online that I'm gonna show you too. So I did get two of these light filtering curtains. These are by Hearth and Hand. They're super nice. They're in that like classic hearth and hand sour cream color, which was exactly what I was looking for. I just couldn't find any at home goods, which was such a shame because I really wanted to because they're a lot cheaper. These were $30 a panel, which is a lot. Definitely adds up quickly when you're trying to put curtains on an entire house. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than Pottery Barn. Those were like $500 a curtain, but compared to home goods, $30 per panel is definitely a lot of money, but they just fit the space so well. I think they're going to look great and they're perfect. They're light filtering at home goods. I was finding a lot that were like really sheer and then like blackout curtains. And I just didn't, I wanted the middle of the road and they had it at Target. So I picked these up. I did get two of them in 95 inches. And then I already have a curtain rod that I picked up from Amazon, which I showed in like a home goods video that I did last week, but it's just a very sleek black curtain rod. I'll definitely link it down below if any of you guys are interested. I'll try to link as much of this as I can. Stuff from home goods, it's a little bit tricky, but anything I can link will be linked down below. 
Also from Target, I did actually pick up our nightstands for the guest bedroom. I was debating on if I wanted to put these in the video because I like kind of wanted to keep it a surprise, but I know that you guys will still watch that video anyways to actually see it all come to life and see the final product. Just showing you like individual pieces doesn't actually give you the full vision. So I did pick up nightstands from Hearth and Hand. They're actually the nightstands that we have in our master bedroom, but I decided to pick them up in the darker color. I'm trying to do darker accents. I want more classic pieces and those dark pieces honestly have stood the test of time and I just love the way that they look. I actually already have them. They're already put together and I am obsessed with them. The quality is amazing. If you've been considering getting these particular nightstands, the light color that we have in our master bedroom has been sold out for a really long time, but these ones are still available. They are really, really nice. I highly recommend them. And yeah, I just can't say enough good things about them. I'm just so excited for you to see the room and how it all comes together. And I know I keep saying it, I'm literally a broken record, but I'm just so excited. Another item that I picked up online was actually a mirror. I couldn't find it at Home Goods. I couldn't find it on Amazon, so I ended up buying it at Home Depot. And it's this really beautiful, like, black window pane mirror. It's just so different, but I think it's gonna look so beautiful. I actually have to go pick it up. It just got delivered to Home Depot. I wanted to save on that shipping, so I got it shipped to the store for free. But it got here earlier than I thought it was going to, so I'm so excited because the room's actually gonna be, like, fully done and complete for Brian's mom to enjoy when she comes to visit us for Easter. But this mirror, I just thought it was so beautiful. It's so different I haven't seen these at the stores and I just like had to bite the bullet it was a little bit expensive um, it was like a $200 mirror and I tried to like haggle their online robot for a coupon but it wasn't working but I do do those online tips if you didn't know if you don't follow me on Instagram you definitely should because I share lots of like money saving tips over on my Instagram like and I share my deals that I got um, and those sneaky ways that I try to save money by shopping online so definitely head over to my Instagram and follow me there also for more like behind the scenes stuff of like decorating decorating and kind of like lifestyle stuff if you're more interested in that I know a lot of you have wanted me to do more like vlog style videos which I don't think I'll ever do because Brian and I really like to keep our relationship and our lives more private but I love to share as much as I feel comfortable and I do share a little bit more over on Instagram like in the moment funny stuff and you know our arguments over English muffins so if that sounds exciting to you and you want to learn how to save money definitely check out my Instagram I have a highlight I think it's called how to save big where I've sh already shared a couple tips but I have plans to share a lot more so go follow me over on Instagram but anyways I picked up this mirror I'm obsessed with it I think it's gonna look so pretty in the room it's so different and I know people are gonna be like why those lines are not functional but like you can still see yourself I think it's gonna look really good so definitely be sure to check out my master bedroom video when it's posted to see how the mirror looks in person and in the room since we're here and we're sharing, I want to let you know that I did pick up a TV mount off of Amazon. I'll just put a picture of it here. It was on sale for like 17 bucks and it holds up to like 80 pounds or something. Our TV is 55 inches. It holds up to 55 inches. Um, and everyone, I read all the reviews. They were really good and it was a super good price. So if you're looking for a TV mount, I did pick up one off of Amazon. And then the last item I picked up was actually a console table to go underneath the TV. So I wanted to do like darker accents in there. So I did the dark nightstands and then this table is also black it's more of like a sleek black and it has glass but I know that I'll be able to warm it up with a lot of the decor pieces that I picked up like the ones in today's video and some other tricks that I have up my sleeve so I did pick up that that was originally on Wayfair for like two over $200 so if you want to see how I got it for $60 you definitely want to go check out that Instagram highlight that I was just talking about that is also getting delivered today so I'm gonna wrap up this video that's everything I have purchased in the last day and over the last week I just wanted to throw in those furniture items in case you were looking for anything but I am just so excited I need to wrap up this video because I need to go decorate that bedroom there's a lot more artwork and other projects so definitely be sure to check out the guest bedroom transformation when it comes out but before you go make sure you give the video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet so you don't miss all of my future videos and transformations and target Tuesdays and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every single time I post a new video but that is gonna be it for me I love you all so much I gotta go decorate the guest bedroom see you next time bye guys